I'm going to start by adding a device tracker, which I'll use in the markdown card. This device tracker will send a ping from Home Assistant to my phone to determine if I'm at home or not, seeing as I'm always carrying my phone on me. Once you've added in the YAML code for this device tracker, make sure you restart Home Assistant. The IP address I'm using here is just the IP address my phone uses when it's connected to my home Wi-Fi. When Home Assistant has restarted, you should see a new device tracker entity, which will state whether it's at home or not home. I'll also be using the weather entity in my markdown card and using its state and the temperature attribute. I'll start by adding the device tracker state in the markdown card. There's several methods to do this. I'll be using the if is state template. So if the device tracker is a certain state, it will show a message defined by me. So in this case, if the device tracker called my phone as the state of home, then it will show the message of defined below. Then here where it says else, just means if the state is anything other than home, then show this message instead. The next template I'm using here includes the switch I use to turn on or off my air conditioning. So again, if the switch state is on, it will show the message defined below. Here I'm just demonstrating how the message will change when I turn my air conditioning on and off. The final template in this example will be the weather entity, which is built into Home Assistant. It depends on the location you set as home in Home Assistant. Instead of using an if is state, I'm just using a simple state template included into the defined message. This will add dynamic text to the end of my message. 
In this case, it will show the state of the weather entity. Following on from that, I'm adding another state template, but this time it will grab the state attribute of the weather entity called temperature. Finally, I'm going to add some styling to this card, such as centering the text, adding bold to the first template, and resizing the font on the first template. I'm going to be adding my markdown cards to this custom card I created in the last video, which I'll leave a link to. Before adding the markdown card, I'll first need to remove the default background and border so it doesn't cover up my custom background image. To do this, I'm using card mod, which I've explained in more detail on my previous video, including how to install the card mod custom component from Hacks. Now that I've got the card how I want it, I need to copy and paste the code into my custom card. I'll need to then highlight the code and use the tab button on my keyboard to add the correct number of indentations so it's correctly positioned underneath the stack in card. Not forgetting to add a hyphen on the opening of the code as well. I'll leave the content of my markdown code in the description below, as well as the custom card. Please like the video if you found it helpful, and also subscribe for notifications of future videos.